I'm Kimberly Kay with your entertainment report from MidHudsonNews.com. Thank you to Making Faces Salon and Spa in Poughkeepsie and Fishkill, featuring a full line of American-made mineral makeup, which you're going to love as much as I do. They've got a wonderful startup kit right now, everything you need just to have a beautiful face. Avis Cosmetics is the name. That's A-V-A-S. You can find them online, aviscosmetics.net. Well, it was certainly the week that Charlie Sheen came unhinged, wasn't it? Uh, since production on his uber-popular sitcom Two and a Half Men was derailed over fallout from his latest bender, the star has been on a frenzied media blitz, apparently to promote the drug he's on known as Charlie Sheen. Yeah. The feverish interviews have teetered between neurotic and delusional. His self-described grandiose behavior has led some to speculate that the 45-year-old actor may have bipolar disorder. He looks bipolar. He's in particularly manic phase. And that from a celebrity psychology expert, Stuart Fishoff, who told PopEater.com, his reality testing has been severely impaired, marked by delusions of grandeur. His head now is as large as the moon. Okay. CNN's primetime talk show Parker Spitzer is no more with the departure of Kathleen Parker. Her partner, former New York Governor Elliot Spitzer, will remain in the time slot in a new show called In the Arena. Working with E.D. Hill, Will Kane, and others, CNN described Parker's exit as a mutual decision. The show that matched the liberal former governor and conservative syndicated columnist debuted last fall and started slow in the ratings. Parker said that she wanted to concentrate on her writing and that the show was moving in a new direction and it was time to move on. Well, if you want to see country singer Kelly Pickler, formerly of American Idol, on her wedding day, then check out her husband's new music video. Songwriter Kyle Jacobs wrote and recorded a song for her called Say I Do. He used their video wedding footage for the music. Video fans can buy it on iTunes for $1.99, and Jacob tells the Associated Press the video shows two people madly in love. It was shot on 8mm film. The couple eloped on New Year's Day in the Caribbean island of Antigua. The video captures their arrival, intimate moments, walking on the beach in the wedding ceremony that took place on a sandbar stretching 200 feet into the ocean. Pickler wore her flowing Evangeli Mishka gown into the ankle deep water where Jacobs was waiting for her. Very romantic. Well, lingerie, handbags, and luggage once owned by Wallace Simpson, the American divorcee who shook the British monarchy, are due to be auctioned off in London. Carrie Taylor Auctioneer says that items due to be put up for sale include a scarlet chiffon nightdress complete with a full-length cape and a 1960s Louis Vuitton vanity case. The auction is set for March 17th. Of course, the story of Simpson, for whom King Edward VIII abdicated in 1936, continues to fas be fascinate people, and it's currently being turned into a movie, W.E., directed by none other than Madonna. I love that. I can't wait for that. Well, Jack Johnson, the Zac Brown Band, and Maroon 5 are part of Patagonia's new music initiative that lets fans buy songs with the profits going to environmental causes. The Patagonia Music Collective kicks off on Tuesday with more than 20 tunes by various performers. Each song will be available for 99 cents, and net proceeds will be donated to the environmental group of the Axe Choosing. The clothing retailer says the long-term project is designed to raise money for green causes and awareness among the company's customers. Well, this is a weird story. Public authorities in Portland, Oregon are considering working a Simon and Garfunkel song into a bike bridge. Mm -hmm. The Oregonian reports a proposed bridge would have a series of grooves in the concrete, and when the bike rolls over them, it would play Simon and Garfunkel's 59th Street Bridge song, you know, feeling groovy. Why that song? Hmm. Well, the bridge's architect says it would remind riders they're about to enter traffic again and slow down. You move too fast. The bridge would double as a piece of public art, and if approved, work will begin in July. Wow. 
In local entertainment news, the Art Society of Kingston holds a Playwrights Lab on alternate Tuesdays at 6.30 p.m. at ASK. That's 97 Broadway in Kingston. Their workshops rather than productions. The focus is on process, not product. Scenes, shorts, full length, up to 90 minute original plays can be read and then feedback will be given. On Tuesday, March 15th at 6.30 p.m., a play called Paget Avenue by Lewis Gardner is being featured. That's your latest entertainment report. A big thank you to my sponsor, Making Faces Salon and Spa in Poughkeepsie and Fishkill. Check out their starter kit for their wonderful American-made mineral makeup. You're going to love it as much as I do. You can try the cosmetic at Avis Cosmetics. That's A-V-A-S Cosmetics.net. For a new update daily, log on to MidHudsonNews.com. I'm Kimberly.